so i wanted to show you the concept of pressure recovery so on top here you can see aorta with a normal size ascending aorta so what happened is when you may put your catheter here you measure the potential energy so as it go through this narrow aortic valve the potential energy is converted to the kinetic energy and heat energy so let's say that the heat energy here is 10 millimeter mercury and let's say that the turbulent energy is 30 millimeter mercury so the 10 millimeter mercury is lost as heat so that is not recoverable however as the flow go from the sinus of vasalva back to the ascending aorta because the aorta is a normal size so the flow is still turbulence so there is not much energy is recovered here so this example i just assume that the only energy that is recovered is about two millimeter mercury so what happened is if you measure the potential energy here the mean gradient will be 140 minus 100 which is 40 millimeter mercury if you measure with cath the gradient will be 140 minus 102 millimeter mercury which is only going to be 38 millimeter mercury so the difference is only 40 millimeter mercury here and 38 millimeter mercury here so that is not significant compared to this bottom diagram in which you have a smaller ascending aorta here so what happened is as the flow go through here so you measure the potential energy it is 140 millimeter mercury for example as it go through this narrowed orifice it also changed so 10 millimeter mercury as heat and 30 millimeter mercury as turbulent energy however as it goes through this smaller iota a lot of this turbulent flow has become more lamina in this smaller iota therefore it recovered more energy so in this situation it recovered 29 millimeter mercury for example so if you measure the potential energy here it will be 140 minus 100 which is 40 millimeter mercury but if you measure here with catheter because you are able to recover more pressure because this is a lamina flow in a smaller iota so it will be 140 millimeter mercury minus 129 millimeter mercury which is 11 millimeter mercury so this there is a significant pressure recovery here so in this iota here the gradient measured by echo is 40 measured by cat is 38 no significant different in iota here the gradient measured by echo is 40 millimeter mercury but the gradient measure by cath is only 11 millimeter mercury and that is significant so in those patients that iota is less than 3 centimeter you need to take this into account